Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. And as you can see, I'm currently currently traveling, but that of course doesn't stop me from making Swift tutorials. So in this video, I'm going to go over the refresh control. So that nice control that you have seen when you drag a page down and a little wheel appears and it just gives the indication to the user that something or the page is refreshing. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching this video and I will show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so let's get to creating a refresh control. So we start by creating a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application, language is Swift. I'm going to call it Refresher Next. Save it on my desktop. And before I begin, I just want to say that if you don't know how to make a table view, then I would suggest that you watch my video called how to make a table view. Uh, because I will just go through that very quickly so that we just have a table view to operate with here. So I'm just going to, so I'm not going to explain so much uh, about the table view. I'm just going to quickly set that up so that we have everything that we do need. Um, and then I'm going to explain more in depth when we come to the refresh controller. So let's see, I'm going to create a UI table view controller, next, save. And I'm going to delete, let's see, I'm just going to, here we go, and it should be, make sure that it's the initial view controller and that you give the cell an identifier like I did, named cell. Head over to, and before I move along, let's see, just make sure that the class is set to the one you just created. UI table view controller. Uh, I call it table view controller. Uh, there we go. Delete this. And all we are going to need is number of rows. And of course the famous cell for row at index path. So now I'm going to create an array that I'm going to populate the table view with. And I'm going to name this array, 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 and it's going to be an array of integers. Let's see, like this. And then I'm going to say number of rows is equal to array.count. And uh, here I'm going to say that the text of the cell, so cell, dot text label dot text is equal to convert to string array dot row dot index path sorry I mean index path dot row there we go so now we have populated our table view with the elements in this array and just to see that everything works as it should which is always a good thing to do before we move along. I am going to, let's see, we don't need all of this code right here. Delete this. I'm just going to run it and see that everything is working as it should, as is always a good idea, so that you know that this isn't uh, the source of your error. But before we launch, we have to make sure that we change the reuse identifier to the one we gave, which in my case was cell. So let's try to launch and see that everything is working as it should. So here we go, here is our table view. And as you can see, everything is working as it should, but we are not able to refresh, which we also should uh, implement right now so that we can see how that works. Now, in order for us to have something to refresh, we have to call a certain function. So else there isn't a point in refreshing if it doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to call uh, or create a function that's called populate because it's going to populate the table view. And what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to um, give my application some work to do. I'm going to say for e in one, two thousand. And I'm going to say array dot append. So add i, let's see, i 
and now we should have an array filled with the, the numbers from 1 to 1000 plus these that already are there and then we're going to say uh, reload oh, let's see table view dot reload data and now we have the function but now we need to be able to call it somehow and that is by dragging down and by in order to be able to refresh that way, we have to create something that's called, or you can call whatever you want to, uh, refresher. I'm just going to call it, and it's going to be a UI refresh control, exclamation mark, because it does exist. And then we're going to say refresher is equal to a UI refresh control, refresher, dot attributed title and as attributed string so this is just a title that's going to uh, be displayed uh, below the refresher of course you don't need this if you're fine with just the wheel turning which probably looks the best but I just have to show you this option that you do have I'm going to say pull to refresh then I'm also going to say that I'm going to call the function as I am refreshing. So add target, see, there we go. And the target is self and the action is, see, selector dot view, I call it table view, table view controller dot populate as was the function that I named is the name of the is the name I gave my function and then UI control events dot value changed I'm going to explain this in a second and then we're going to say table view dot add sub view which is our refresher and one more thing we have to do before we get going and launch our app and that's to say refresher dot and refreshing so just to go through it very quickly here we are creating the refresh control then we are giving it the title so instead of just being that wheel that turns around it uh, this text should be displayed under that wheel then we also say that when this refresher is active we want to call this function right here table view controller dot populate uh, table view controller just says where this function is located and uh, its name populate so this one and then we basically add it to our table view and the function that we are running when we are pulling this pulling our table view downwards and releasing is this one which just populate our array then when we're done we end the refreshing and we reload the table data but we should probably have that before the refresher so that everything is done when the refresher ends refreshing. So let's run this app and uh, let's see what we've got. So here are our numbers numbers right now and we can all only do this once because of how our app is laid out. Uh, so let's enjoy this one, two, three and we pull down. It says pull to refresh, we refresh, release. Oh, I have to drag it all the way down, refresh. And there we go, it is refreshed with all the numbers displaying of course you can do it numerous times but you don't see the change bam bam so that is how you create a refresh control or a refresh display or refresh something and if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure that you click the subscribe button so that i can see you in the next video and also thank you for watching